Yo, what's up everyone? We've got another image sent in, another tutorial to do, and I'll be putting all of his links down in the description. So if you like his work, you can go give him a follow down there. You can also check out the prints he offers. So coming down and looking at his work, you can see just a lot of epic shots. And I think we've done a tutorial on him before. And yeah, just using the natural tones, adding in a bit of contrast there. It's touch of a fade to those blacks and we're gonna be working with the shot right here trying to recreate its edit so let's get into lightroom see if we can create something epic like this okay so here's the image from his instagram and the raw unedited file that he has sent us so first things first i might just drop the temperature because it's got some nice cool blues in there and then let's drop the contrast because I'm going to add in the contrast with the curves. Uh, let's drop some highlights. Right, so we'll just jump into curves. We'll do a simple S curve in the red, green and blue channels and this is to get the colors to pop. Okay, so that's the curves done, just a real simple S curve and then a nice fade with these because you can see there's a nice fade in those blacks there and those shadows, nice and soft. So uh, let's maybe touch the vibrance down. We'll go with that coming down. Uh, probably won't do any. Um, all right. So as you can see, we've got to get those real nice bluey greens. They're kind of warm, but kind of blue as well. So quite often the yellows will affect the greens as well. Just watch out for that. We'll shift them. Or maybe start with the greens. Shift them to this bluey green color. The desaturate them. Probably the same with the yellows. Oranges. Right, so we want, we're currently very orange, we want more of a yellow to the fox. Yellows, I think, pretty strong. About there, right. Um, luminance, so we want to broaden up the fox a wee bit. And then might deepen the yellow, uh, greens I mean. And then we just look a little cold throughout the whole image. So highlights, I'm going to chuck in some nice warm tones. Q 
Okay. Um, sharpening can come up. And then hold option, slide the mask. We want to slide it quite far up so we're only sharpening the thicker edges. And if we just keep... Um, right, so let's do some brushes and filters now. So we need to bring out the, the back half of the fox. So let's grab a brush and I've already placed them. So I'll show you what I want to do. I want to... Uh, exposure to brighten and then we'll add in some warmth to get the saturation and then if it's looking too yellow you can add a bit of purple in you'll get more of an orange and I'll sh lift up the shadows there that looks about right. So the eyes, we need to bring out the eyes there. What we'll do is... Bring up the exposure a lot. And then, when you mess with the exposure, you want to make sure you're keeping the contrast. Because you're lifting up all the exposures if you lift up exposure but you want to maybe drop the black sometimes just so you keep that contrast always can look quite odd and then maybe some warmth into the eyes so they're not so red okay and then I just want to filter from this angle, which I've already done. And what I want to do is just darken it, just so it frames the fox a little better. And then that's about it. Here's our before and after. And I'm happy with that one. So yeah, you guys make sure you go check out his work down in the description. I'll leave his links down there. You can go give him a follow. If you're liking these tutorials, check out the presets. And comment down below who you guys want to see. So comment people with great images but not too many followers. That, that way they will send an image to do a tutorial on. So do that, it really helps me. I go through all the comments, look at all the Instagram pages. And yeah. Thanks for watching guys, catch ya on the next one.